Hello, sixth grade scientists. Welcome to Learning at Home with Mrs. V. All right, so today we're gonna to learn something brand new. We're gonna learn what a dichotomous key is. All right, so we've used simple dichotomous keys in the past, and especially if you have ever read a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Now, these were one of my favorites because I got to choose what the main character did. So as I was reading along, I would read until I got to a page where I got to make a choice. And on this page, it says, if you're a robot, um, if you turn your robot on right away, turn to page five. If you paint him first, turn to page six. So it gave me a choice. So I had two choices and I could choose whether I turned him on right away or whether I painted him first. So those two choices, that's kind of like what we're gonna be doing today. That's kind of like what a dichotomous key is. So a classification system used by scientists in order to group living and non-living things based on the characteristics they share is a dichotomous key. So dichotomous, when we break that down into the Greek parts, di and cot, di means two, cot means branches, or we could say divide it into two parts. So that's gonna be important for us to remember as we're going through and classifying things using a dichotomous key. Now, um, scientists use this in order to break things down, like we have uh, birds. There are lots of different kinds of birds. There are lots of different kinds of um, albatrosses. There are lots of different kinds of um, woolly worms. There's lots of different kinds of insects. So when we classify them, when we break them down, it helps us to better understand the world we live in, okay? So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a dichotomous key on a non-living thing, Mrs. B's shoes. All right, so I have a dichotomous key that I've written um, on, the class of, on the different characteristics of these different shoes. So I'm gonna take the, each shoe and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take it through the dichotomous key in order to classify each shoe. So I'm gonna start off with my sandal and I'm gonna start at the beginning. Always start at the beginning. Every single time you start with a different thing, okay? So I'm gonna start with my sandal. Is it closed toed or open toed? So I'm gonna take a look at this. This is open toed. This is not something I would want to wear into the lab. This is an open toed shoe, so I go to three. So I'm gonna to skip two and I'm gonna to go to three. So now I have to tell, does it have a strap or is it strapless? Well, I notice I have the strap on the back, so it does have a strap, so it is my sandal, okay? So I've just classified this shoe as my sandal. All right, next shoe. I'm gonna to have to go all the way back to the top. Every single time, start at the top. So we have, is it closed toed or open toed? Well, I notice that it is closed toed, and so I go to number two. Now, number two asks, it is, is it a sport shoe or a non-sport shoe? Well, this is a sport shoe. This is something that I can use to run in, and so it's a sport shoe, so it is my tennis shoe. All right, so we've classified the sandal and my tennis shoe. All right, now, this one was looking a little rough because I used this one to garden in. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to the top. Always go to the top with your dichotomous key. So I'm gonna look, is it closed toed or open toed? Well, this is open toed. So since this is open toed, I'm gonna go to number three. So I don't have to go to two, I can skip two. So down here, strap or strapless? Well, there's no strap on the back, so this is my flip flop. All right, next shoe. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start at the top again. So closed toed or open toed? Well, this is closed toed, so I go to number three. Oh, I'm sorry, closed toed, go to number two. Hmm. Um, sport shoe or non-sport shoe? I would not want to run in these. This is a non-sport shoe, so I'm gonna to go to number four. So it is it above the ankle or at the ankle? Well, when I slip these on, these come right at my ankle, so I know this is my dress shoe. All right. Last but not least, I go back up to the top, always go to the top, closed toed or open toed? This is closed toed, so I go to number two. So sport shoe or non-sport shoe? I would not want to run in these. I don't think these would be very comfortable to run in. So this is my non-sport shoe, so I go to number four. Above the ankle or at the ankle? This is above the ankle. My ankle would be probably right about here. So this is my boot. 
All right. So I went through and I classified all of my different shoes. So today, or well, this week, you are going to be looking at um, a gizmo and you're gonna be looking at different California albatrosses and you're gonna be classifying them according to their characteristics. So it will automatically take you through the dichotomous key. And you'll notice every single time they start with the same two things. Remember, we've got two branches or divided into two parts. Each time they're gonna ask you, is it this or is it this? If it's this, go here. If it's this, go here. So each time they're gonna do that with the California albatross. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you a quiz to see if you understand. You can take the quiz as many times as you want to. Um, they're gonna, the quiz is gonna be about butterflies and the different characteristics of butterflies. So you're gonna have to play I Spy when you're looking at the butterflies. And then they're gonna give you these great big scientific names, um, but you will be able to figure it out according to whether they have rounded wings or whether their wings at the bottom are pointed um, they're going to ask you about the antenna. Okay. So they're going to ask you a whole bunch of different questions about the butterfly so that you can classify them by their characteristics. Then there's also going to be a worksheet about classifying different aliens according to their characteristics. The last two questions refer to the genus and the species. The genus part of the name is at the beginning. The species part of the name is at the end. Now I do have reminders about that on the worksheet itself as you're going through. So there are little reminders and out to the side I said see the two hints, okay? And if you need to replay this video, go ahead. All right, if you have any questions, you can always email me. All right, I want you to keep watching, keep thinking, always stay curious, and I'll see you next time.